Hello again, it's Priscilla Betzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. It is a hot spring day in Florida and I am hooked on swipes right now in the worst way possible. So I am going to give myself a nice coating of black paint. I hope that I used enough. And the OXO omelet turning spatula usually helps me get optimum efficiency out of my paint because it spreads so well. Plus I can see the stuff when it gets in there. I need to operate pretty quickly because if I don't, the paint will dry. But if I'm fast, I can add the rest of the paint that I want to to the surface of this. I don't really want to waste any. And the OXO omelet turning spatula available on my Amazon link under show more under the video is really great for that. I am taking too long though. <laughs> I'm being too chintzy. I'm a quarter Scott. <laughs> and I'm trying to make this paint go all the way without leaving any gaps. All right. And I'm not gonna leave anything behind. There we go, into the bucket it goes. All right, so for right now, I'm thinking I would like to take that lump out of there. Use my tri-tip gold. As a sort of a guideline. And I'm hoping that I have some colors that are open and I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. But I might as well do it the same on both ends. Both sides. <laughs> yeah, I almost went on the wrong side of that. I am dyslexic. There's no doubt about that. I don't know what will happen putting this color shifting purple from folk art over the gold but I'm bound to find out. And I'm not making, I mean, I might be drawing patterns on and you can see that, but that's just my nature and that has nothing to do with what's about to happen. I'll take my word for it. So this is a modern masters blue and I don't think there's anything more specific to be said about it than that. I am just really hoping that I'm doing this all right. I might put a little more gold down the middle. And I might put a lot more pink down the middle. I'm not sure why I went around that end. And then I'm gonna put some, um, some black enamel, although I keep wanting to use the blue enamel. So that's the black enamel from Folk Art. It's a, it's a gloss. I don't think it matters whether it's gloss or not. I'm going to try some of the blue enamel just because it's here in my hand. It's not metallic. I could make it metallic if I use the, uh, the iridescent pearl fine from Golden. So right now, I'm going to have a quick look at this and see if there's anything I want in there. And I do. I definitely do. And what else? Maybe some of this green too, if it'll come out. Let's just do that. Don't worry about your designs. I <laughs> worry about your dyslexia. I tend to go the wrong direction if I'm not careful. I really want to use some of that red metallic, but I'm not sure it's the right color. I guess we'll find out soon enough now that I've done it. Whoop. The magenta is calling me too, but I think we better start. And uh, once I start, I'll figure it out from there. So I want to go in a really odd way. I want to chevron. Maybe I should cut something for that. Maybe I should just use a curve. And I need to scrape that off into something. 
that I can still use the paint up. I just got to remember how I did it. And be able to spin my turntable and knock the paint off my card. Why not? Why not take some paint out of my way too? Hey, listen, you guys, if you watch the videos longer, you up my chances of being found on YouTube by more people. And that might actually make my channel come back to life. So I really appreciate you guys watching longer. I'm gonna just take some of that paint and sheet. And I'm gonna use that curve right there. If I don't like this, it'll be sad, but I'll do something to fix it. We got plenty of cells happening. I'm going to try not to jump to have a snap judgment too fast about what's happening, because the other day I went too far. I did eventually fix it and make it into something else, but I liked what was in the middle of the video and I hadn't really noticed at the time. Yeah, this is kind of a mess so far, but I'm just going to keep going. Until such a time as I feel like I should move on to something else. I could put some gold in the center. I think I'm just going to keep using my card sideways with my point. Press it down in. And deal with it later. I might like the oddness of the pattern anyway, even if it's not symmetrical completely. I could probably use chain. I could probably just drag my card a few times. And get away with that. We'll find out together anyway. I'm going to use what's on the card residual and knock it over the end. And if it's really heavy, I'll just stick my fingers in it. So I am just using the, the corner of the card to swipe through there. It's Chevron-esque. I'm going to have to stop and look because I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this yet. More, more of a starburst than anything. That or the British flag. I'm just sort of pulling the pattern around. It's not like anything I've done before. Well, it is, but they'd be on square canvases, honestly. And that's kind of cool. And maybe if I cross some things over in the center, I'll have a center point. And now I think I ought to torch. Let my fingers do the walking over the edges. Protect my paint. Just ever so lightly dragging that card. Got all kinds of gold. Try and get away with making a little scratchy starburst in the center. Keeping some cells. 
take a look at my pattern. So this is for Silabat Cell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard saying, thank you for watching my videos longer. Thank you for sharing my videos. Thank you for shopping my Amazon link at no added cost to you helping me out. Thank you for looking at the Teespring clothing below the video and finding the all over print leggings and t-shirts. I know some of you have been shopping. I heard you tell, bragging about it. I hope you love your leggings as much as I do. Thank you for going to Expression to Start Studio Gallery Totes and More on Facebook and checking out what I've been putting on Facebook since, excuse me, putting on Fine Art America since 2013. Yeah, I'm having trouble making ma making up my mind what I want to do to the middle, but I think that I can leave it as it is and it's not a problem. I'm going to cover my paint up again. Yesterday I put my inversion pour into a black and it made something very dramatic and magical, but um, today I think I'm going to do it into white. And I am just going to pounce. Now, without my fingers in there, please. So yeah, just going to make sure my finger isn't connected to the painting and just pounce at an angle my bamboo skewer. Because that's pretty cool in so many ways. Anywhere I see needs something. And then if I have it on there, I can put it down somewhere else. And honestly, if I push it in and then pull it up, I might expose some more colors also. I think it's too warm. I think even if I torch at this point, I'm not going to release any patterns, but I'm all good with that because I love the explosion and the fragmentation is just really cool. So that was neat. <laughs> not really what I was expecting, but that was neat. This down here is bugging me just a little bit tiny bit and so what I think I'm going to do is give myself permission to put one more one more little skewer full right there and honestly if I wanted to I could put dots of paint and pull them out but I'm good so what did I not tell you guys um, I'm not giving lessons at the house in Spring Hill anymore, but if you want to contact me through my email underneath the video, we can schedule when this disaster zone is over and the Corvina, cor excuse me, the coronavirus has uh, abated. That would be nice. We always have a ball when we have lessons. I'm going to try and make some of my paint go down over the edge on this side. I've got some paint I can use that's saved back, which is perfect. Got some great cells in there. I did use the black enamel down the center. My pouring mixture is underneath the video. I use the same pouring mixture for the enamels as I do for everything else. Like I said, if I wanted some highlights, I could probably put them right in there. I could also dip my skewer in some paint and then put it down in there. So what else? If you're not subscribed, subscribe. And if you're not getting notifications, you might wanna check your subscription is still active. Uh, if you're not getting notifications, you might want to check that the all is picked. When you ring the bell, you have to choose all or you don't get them. There is a monthly drawing, and uh, whoever donates $10 or more to help keep the studio rolling, thank you very much. I see that paint right there, and it's bugging me. I need a little something-something in that black spot. And I've got plenty of beautiful paint, so I'm thinking I'm just going to take a little bit of it and do what I threatened to do. just so there's not that blocky spot. Because I don't like noticing them after the painting is dry. Just a little more right there. Now that blends better for me in my eye. What else? Where was I? I told you about Teespring. I told you about um, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and More on Facebook, uh, where I've been posting since 2013. And you can see, like, oh, I don't know, tons and tons of cool stuff there. They have all kinds of clothing, even baby onesies and all kinds of men's shirts and women's shirts. And um, Okay, so check my channel playlists on my YouTube channel. Uh, created playlists, under playlists, under all playlists. You will find 
12 lists of 100 and 13 lists of genres, and you can binge if you want to. Please give me a thumbs up. Please shop my Amazon link. Watch the videos longer, and check for Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group on Facebook for students if you're interested. I have two books on the Amazon link. They are Because I Can and Unlimited Possibilities. And they are right next to the OXO Omelette Turning Spatulas and the Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatulas. And if you open this, you'll find all seven of those. So I love you. This is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, thinking I'm probably going to be touching up my edges for a couple minutes. But other than that, I'm all good to go. And that was fun, and I think it's going to be stellar tomorrow. I'm really liking that. I want to stick my finger in the middle. <laughs> now there's a point in there. That's good. I don't mind that at all. I love you guys. I can't see anything today through this, but I'm going to give it a shot, and hopefully that's going to be okay. All right, I will see you anon. Um, check the community board for tomorrow's video and Expression Start Studio Gallery Appreciation Group. I love you guys. See ya. Bye for now. Priscilla out.